Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're at Chain Lake Cemetery up in Cass County, Michigan. Uh, we're starting off my video today uh, because it's really windy and it tried to blow my camera off the car. Um, Let me tell you a little bit about uh, Chain Lake uh, Cemetery's hem history. In the 1830s, Southern runaway slaves bound from freedom in Canada came to Michigan near Cassopolis. In 1840, County, Cass County's Quaker community, which provided a safe haven from, for the fugitives, became, an, became a part of the underworld underground railroad many free african americans also settled permanently in calvin township in 1838 cass county's first african american church was organized here in the 18 in 1853 the, the michigan anti-slavery baptist association later read named the Chain Lake Baptist Association was formed. In 1856, Turner and Irina Bird donated Anchor of Land for the cemetery. The mon monuments record the names of townships earlier settlers including George and Green Allen and the, An and the Anderson. Ash, Artis, Calloway, Evans, Hawkins, Sanders, Sw Stewart and Wilson families. Beautiful view of the lake, I don't know how well it can be seen. Beautiful day for uh, an adventure on my day off. A little chilly. That was a headstone that fell over. You can't really read them. Here's some more over here. I did download Necrophonic app on my phone. John Stewart. This is one of the first people I think they said that was buried out here. Nancy, wife of, I'm not sure, I can't read. 32 years old. Go oh, look at this view. Never been out this way. Have family all around Michigan. Let 
sure getting my exercise in today. Julia Walden died March 13, 1892, 56 years old. This is gone but not forgotten. Newsom, Charles Newsom died in 1888, 24 years old. Anybody ever wonder why back in the day they used to put how many months and days they were to? They've gotten some newer headstones for people. Well, no, this, this one was 1878 to 1951. There are some newer graves here. Hilda Brown, George Brown. There's definitely newer graves out here. Yeah, this person was buried in 1990 in 2012. It was beautiful. Our baby Billy Robinson. So sad. Well, here's the newest one. Patricia Lynn Curtis. 2018. Where's your recipes? Let's see if we can set these up for her. Some trees breaking over here. Nineteen oh seven to nineteen seventy four. All he's got is a wooden cross. That's sad. This is what I was looking at. Debbie Anderson died August 1st, 1991.
World War II vets. You can see, it looks like a grave right back here. Okay guys, that'll end uh, our visit here at Chain Lake Cemetery. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, look it up. I didn't find a whole lot, but I was able to find it. It's really neat. Uh, very hilly. <laughs> Gave me my exercise today. But it, it's really peaceful. Um, I didn't feel like there was anything evil out here to even try to do a necrophonic uh, but I hope you enjoy it remember if you're not a, a subscriber please hit that subscribe button so you know when I ne up, next upload uh, share with your friends hit that like button to let YouTube know that you're liking my content and We'll see you on my next adventure. Have a good day.